Hey guys, we're at Ryan's house looking at doing a system replacement. Um, we'll pull this furnace out. We'll set our new furnace back in the same location. New furnace is going to have a different return coming into it. There's only a 10 inch tall return right now. So we'll do a new 25 by 10. We're going to have to do an offset by three or four inches to the right to get the five inch filter to fit. Um, new furnace will have a new coil built on top of it and built up into the existing supply ductwork with a new plenum. We'll do a new five by four by three swivel T right there and build back down into the new furnace. Electrical lines, they stop prior to the joist, so that needs to be bumped up just a little bit. Um, so we'll put an extension in there. We'll run new conduit up to the ceiling, whatever works. Um, drain line for the system comes out of the back side of the coil over here and drips into a bucket. Um, it's supposed to run over to a floor drain right there, so we'll run a new piece of vinyl tubing over to that floor drain. Refrigerant lines run straight out of the unit across the ceiling to the outdoor. We'll flush and pressure test them or just run a new set. Let me take a peek outside here. We can just flush and pressure test them. Um, air conditioner sitting outside on this concrete pad. So for the outdoor unit, we'll do a new condenser. New condenser, new pad for the unit to sit on, new disconnect box up there on the wall. Um, I think we can clean those refrigerant lines up quite a bit, so we'll bring new refrigerant lines out, we'll flush and pressure test, get everything insulated, and that's it. Um, as you could tell, there's a walkout basement. There's a gate right here that goes up to the street. Right over there. That's it.